Hello everybody, this is Fracture and I welcome you to Let's Play Borderlands on the PC, part 11. You see me reviewing my character on the screen and we'll be heading over to this final battle with Sledge. So, following the last video, I did record an attempt at the Circle of Death final round that went really poorly, so I won't be bothering you with that. I didn't complete it anyway, so we'll be coming back to it. And I also didn't earn any real experience or anything of interest. So let's go on to Sledge and hope that fares a little better. Now Sledge is one of the bosses where you actually have to fight your way through a significant number of other mobs before you reach him. So this video will actually end just as I'm approaching the final battle. I've recorded the final battle and that'll be posted right after this one. Time down! <laughs> That must have hurt. I think this will be the first time I'm going berserk with my new incendiary artifact attached. So you can see the flames and fireballs that my punching has now. And here's a little trick I learned playing multiplayer once or twice. Uh, if you take out this Gatling gun from here, he has a hard time hitting you, but depending on your accuracy, you don't have too much of a hard time hitting him. Now I get a little confused here because my shots stop hitting, and what's happened is I've killed the guy that sits on the back of the Gatling gun, and it's not hitting the Gatling gun itself. So. I finally dawns on me what's going on, and I move on to the next thing. We'll be coming back to this particular area almost right away. Inconveniently, as soon as we hand in this quest, we get another quest to blow up the pipeline that's running directly overhead.
Some people may be noticing a strange distortion when I run, sort of a fisheye effect. Most of you are probably aware of it, but there's a key binding settings that you can add to your config file in Borderlands to increase your field of vision, and it distorts things a little bit when you're actually running. I find the default field of vision to be almost claustrophobic, they've got it set so tight. I don't really consider that to be cheating, it's just kind of spreading your view a little bit. If you want to find out more about that, uh, leave a comment on YouTube, and if I get anybody asking, I will post a link to the utility that lets you set it up really easily. Steam Contacts came online here and I didn't know if you wanted his name shown, so I just blurred it. So as I wrap up this battle, I also wrap up the end of this video. So, as always, I thank you for watching, I thank you for listening, and if you'd like to leave a comment, suggestion, or infantile abuse on YouTube, feel free, I will read them all. Thank you!